Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about how angler slimes can explode or maybe even blind you. That feels like a false headline for CNN or something. Now you probably saw my last video about the preview for the soundtrack for Slime Rancher 2 that we got. So basically Slime Rancher kind of shared on their official Twitter account a preview of the official soundtrack for Slime Rancher 2. And actually since that video they shared three additional previews. One of the rainbow fields during night, one of the conservatory during day and one during the night. So I'm actually going to show them in that order, but you may also want to check the Rainbow Fields day one, my last video out, to kind of have this all make a little bit more sense. But basically, this is going to be a preview of the soundtrack. Now, the soundtrack, I'm not really going to kind of let you listen on, on it alone, because, you know, copyright strikes are a thing on YouTube, but you can hear it in the background, and I will also leave a link to the Twitter account for Slime Rancher in the description down below, so you can actually just read it over there. But today we're going to kind of be focusing on the visual aspect, because like I said, there are a few cool things in there. Now let's start off with a tweet for this specific preview. So things slow down just a little bit at night in the rainbow fields and the wistful strings of its night theme are calling in the wind for you to return home as the piano accompaniment, I have no clue how to pronounce that, falls like tiny stars across a darkening sky. Okay, so actually during the night preview of Rainbow Fields, well, there isn't a lot happening that we didn't already mention. Now, what I really found cool during this entire segment is basically how they actually shifted the kind of the corner that they actually are filming from. Because in my last video, I was talking about some monument that you can actually see behind that big slime statue over there. Well, it seems like they listened because right now we can no longer see it from this corner of the fields. So maybe they are watching YouTube as well. Please give us a release date. Now, in either way, we actually got a really good look at this phosphor slime. Now, look at this phosphor slime. Now, one, it looks amazing, but this one is really light blue. So it kind of really pops a lot more than it used to. In the background, we also see some phosphor pink largos just, you know, fluttering by. Uh, well, flying by. I can say fluttering anymore since there is a flutter slime in the game right now. Now, what is really cool is actually when you actually look at the ground, like the 16 second marks, and you zoom really in, like I'm going to show you in the post editing scene. And basically, there's something in the background moving. Now, I have no clue what that is. That may be just a flutter slime kind of having a really weird moment, but it might also be some kind of new thing that you can find in the rainbow fields. Might be a new resource, might be a new slime. Maybe it's even a hunter slime hidden away because we actually saw that plort in the plort market. But you kind of see something moving in that background. It's pretty cool. And really, I'm curious what that is. But right now, it's still too far away. And of course, Twitter videos are always bad quality. Okay, so let's move on to the conservatory day one. So bright and full of possibilities, the conservatory team is the perfect music to get the work of the day underway as you plan your next adventure. But just like the conservatory itself, this piece is hiding something. A mystery waiting to be revealed like the island itself. Now, obviously, this tweet actually hints at some type of secret that is hidden away in the conservatory. Right now, we don't have any idea just yet, but potentially there is going to be some type of storyline that kind of integrates into the conservatory. So we, you know, we can only just wait to find out. Okay, so for actually the footage of the conservatory day part, so basically we can see some flutter slimes and cotton slimes in those corals in the background. We also see some flutter slimes actually kind of being free ranged at the back. Now, of course, we also have this view of the plort market, but I actually already checked before I started recording. These are actually exactly the same plorts as they were in the latest trailer that I covered on the channel. And of course, we have some water cabbage in this um, garden at the very front. So this water cabbage is, of course, the favorite food for the cotton slimes. And of course, we have some hen hen and a rooster in a coop. Now the footage itself doesn't really show anything new, not anything groundbreaking. Only the tweet actually mentioning that there is a secret in the conservatory actually is something new to talk about. But actually we don't really see anything new in this uh, footage. But if you actually found something, please let me know in the comments down below. And then of course we have the night preview for the conservatory. As night comes to the conservatory, its music slows to other reflection and here we see the world with the narrower spectrum of the rainbow. One that is a little less bright, but tomorrow is another day, another sunrise, another rainbow, so long as we can keep it that way. 
Now, this feels like a little bit more ominous and may even suggest that our storyline is going to have a little bit more of an impact on the world of Slime Rancher than it did in the very first game. That one was kind of purely self-discovery on the character's side and here it seems like we are going to be able to have more of an impact on the world itself. Okay, so let's talk about the footage for the conservatory at night. Now, first off, in the background, we actually see two corals. On the left side, we actually have one that is completely full with baddie slimes and the other one with phosphorus slimes. Now, I don't really have a good look at those um, two gardens. I believe the left one is going to be Q-berries and maybe the right one might be pogo fruit, but don't quote me on that actually really focus on those two angler slimes. Now the player is free ranging two angler slimes in the very front of the part and actually if you actually take a look at them they don't seem to be uh, a largo of any kind. So I don't think these guys are um, largos so definitely they aren't combined with a boom slime. Now they actually have this bulb on their head because they are angler slimes which actually comes from the angler fish so you can actually attract um, you know prey that way and then they can actually eat you. Like the anglerfish. Now the angler slimes basically are also carnivores because we actually also have some screenshots of them eating a plump sea hen, the new hen hen type, and maybe they actually also have the effect to actually blind you. Because if you actually take a look at them exploding, well basically you can just see this bulb become really really bright and then it explodes. Now the explosion isn't as impactful as for example the one from the boom slime or the mosaic slime, but it seems to be more blinding. So I think they can actually blind the player. So if you actually look at them, they do this effect. They blind your sight. Maybe for a second you can't see anything on your screen. It's completely white or maybe it kind of becomes like a picture and you can only don't see anything moving. Like, you know, the ones that you often see in games where they actually blind you and then the angle of sight can try to get away. Now this is actually a really cool design choice for the anglerfish for the very simple reason that it fits the team and it also puts them on the same level as the boom slime with its explosion or the rat slime with its radioactive field for example. Now it can actually defend itself against the player and also it's going to give you not much but still an additional layer of difficulty when actually hurting all these different slimes. Now you actually need to kind of pay attention when you are trying to catch them so maybe if this is a blinding effect so if you are trying to suck them up, well, basically you need to turn around, turn away from them when they are trying to do their explosions so you don't get blinded. Now, personally, I find this a really cool design choice for the Anglo Slimes, but please let me know your opinions in the comments down below. And you know, you may want to check out this video right here where we talk about the preview that we already got for the soundtrack, the very first one, and where we actually found this hidden monument. But don't click on it just yet. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on everything Slime Ranch related. Thanks for watching and I'll see you over there.